actually had a student, Kareem Ramey, call me and said he was in the Astrodome. And I actually got an email from other KIPP teachers that were volunteering in the Astrodome with a list of all of our students that were here. I'm like, wow, we have 15, 20 of our kids in the Astrodome. So I, I got on the phone with, uh, with four of the teachers and we all got on a plane and flew to Houston. And the whole goal was to come and help our kids get into a KIPP school here in Houston. When we got here and we went to the Astrodome, it was so overwhelming. There were so many kids in there that wanted to go to school and parents that wanted their kids in school and there was nothing yet quite organized to get the kids into school. So, uh, we, you know, we couldn't just help our 12 kids in the Astrodome get into the KIPP school. They all had brothers and sisters that wanted to get in somewhere else too. And so Mike Feinberg, we met with him and he just had the idea, why don't we do a charter school here in Houston? I like the school. The school is fun, you know. I like it a lot because a lot of New Orleans kids are here. And when I came here, you know, I found a couple of my friends here, so I like the school. like I do and like most um, like most I think Teach for America core members do that that a child's intelligence is malleable then you believe that that with enough time and enough dedication that you can do something to change that we're about seven months into the school year and we've seen really dramatic changes with the kids I think the first one is that they've all calmed down and begin to accept that this is home and this is school that they are safe here, that they're learning here, despite how different this may be than what they're used to. So what's been really wonderful about this school is it's brought Teach for America and KIPP together. So we just have an incredible team environment among the teachers. It just fosters a lot of, a lot of working together, um, a lot of healthy competition, a lot of, you know, uh, constantly trying to improve our teaching and sharing resources. I've learned a tremendous amount in this experience right here of how to deal with people, how to deal with emotions, <laughs> uh, how to run a, a good school. No matter what, I've, I've gained resiliency. You learn to bounce back from whatever comes your way and maybe um, Maybe I didn't have that as much before when I was in college, so I'm glad I gained that. I mean, and then the other thing would be empathy. So it's just daily, daily re-inspiring and motivating. Houston's been great to, to New Orleans evacuees. They really have. And, and I love the school a lot. Uh, but Houston it, it doesn't have the character of New Orleans, the, the city itself. So I'm very, very homesick. Little by little, I think one person at a time, you can make a difference. And I'm ready to go back and be a part of that change. I think the spirit of New Orleans right now is very good. Everybody coming together and want to rebuild it. A lot of people are getting this big civic mission now. I mean, we have so many people running for mayor and city council. I've never seen that before in New Orleans. A lot of really strong, respectable leaders. Uh, so I, that's the key for New Orleans to turn around, is a lot of the old politics has to go away. We need some people that truly, truly care about the best interests of the city and do it. Uh, and I, I think that's going to happen. Yeah. I do.